Value these bags, Phil. Four for ten. <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, three, three bags of panic. Right? Uh, right. Do you draw first for me? All right. Thirty quid. Twenty, especially. Bessie twenty. Yeah. Far side, that is. Twenty. I'm on. I don't know. 17's corner. Here we are, Larford Lakes for the practice match before the Golden Rod Feeder Championship. So today is a, I think it's a 60 pegger, you know, loads of people on the match today. It's across both lakes, Spessian, Match Lake. This is the practice match basically, but everybody fishes it. Everybody comes down and fishes the match on Friday before the big event Saturday, Sunday. So, getting down here. Um, I bought a new van, but it ain't ready till Monday. My luck in it. Um, so, my brother's come down with me, which is great. Uh, he's a good fisherman, normally fishes Lindome and stuff like that, but he hasn't been for quite a while with work commitments and stuff, but he's come down, brought me down in the car, it's been a bit of a squeeze in the car, but at least we've got down, uh, got, mo got pretty much all my gear, and um, yeah, we're raring to go, so thanks for, thanks for my brother Richard for bringing me down and uh, going to stop in the hotel with us for the weekend, out with me tackle and uh, yeah, be my bank runner, so... Thanks very much. I said I'd give him, if I win it, I'll give him a grand or something like that. So there you go. Uh, sorry, Nosha. Sorry, Nosha. So, but uh, today is just a practice match. I've already drawn and we, we set up. We're on uh, peg 20 on Specy Lake, which is at the other side of Specy Lake. Uh, lovely, beautiful complex down here at Larford Lake. It's even built a new little draw hut and everything. So. Yeah, it's fantastic. The only thing is, we couldn't find a blooming shop on way down to get some drinks and that, so... My brother's just nipped to the shop to get some drinks and a sign if it is. It might, might be a long day. But I've drawn anyway, and um, people are saying it's alright. There's Tidsy just a few pegs down, and Speeder, uh, two pegs up. Uh, I've seen Dave Smith, my mate. I've seen Tommy, Waco's drawn well. All, all the people, what you think of draw, are drawn well. Um, so... Yeah, it's uh, 
hopefully it'll stay dry today so it don't get too muddy for the final but it, it's supposed to be ridiculous weather um, wind and rain anyway I'll turn you round show you the peg and we'll uh, we'll have a look and see what tackle I've got set up right so here's the peg 20 on Spessa that speed is peg in the corner with a big tree he's the M peg so I'm assuming he's going to chuck up that corner somewhere uh, this is my peg all set up I didn't go on that because it looks like it's going to break and you know me if I get on that I'll go straight through it so I've left that alone just sat it aside um, got me set nicely set up um, and then we've got lad next door and then Tiddy's down there with his van somewhere down there Dave Smith's on the corner here um, but the better pegs apparently that corner, that corner, this corner and this corner. So, but we're in the middle of the lake sort of thing. Well, maybe not middle. But it looks nice enough, doesn't it? Big open water. So I've got rod wise. I've got a feeding feeder rod with a big feeder on. I've got a little mini, uh, mini reactor core XZ rod, which is just going to be one what I... Uh, chuck short and then I've got my Cortex um, 11 footer which I'm probably going to chuck about 25 meters and then I've got Big Bertha my Cortex 13 foot to, to chuck in the middle of the lake it were really really windy just a minute ago but it seems to have calmed down now so it's not too bad um, but the wind's supposed to get up so I've got a 50 gram feeder on that probably change that to like a 42 or something and then bait wise i've got some dead reds i've got some pellets uh i've got my wafters what i'm using critical wafter wafters from bait tech these are the ones five mil critical wafters i've got some spray and then i've got some ground bait done up in here which is Special G and margin mix, me fearful, and I'll probably mix a few pellets with that as well. That's just to feed down the edge. I've got a couple of uh, sprays and stuff, um, and that is it. You don't really need too much. Keep it really simple, and um, I'm changed to maggots on a band, put them on an air rig and what have you, if uh, them bream turn up. But that's really it. We're starting at eleven, so we've got an hour. Well, that is. We've got an hour to go, so when we get on the box, I'll get my nets in, and uh, hopefully it'll stay dry for us today. Right, it's eleven o'clock. Sure, we're starting at eleven. Sure, it's eleven. There we go. One more in. rod out so that's it we're all in 11 o'clock well four i think it is five hour match um i'm just gonna start short see if i can pick anything straight away before i start putting loads of bait in um, and then probably have a chuck in the middle and uh, just gauge it from there but uh, if it don't start going round in the next sort of half an hour Apologies for the wind. Um, we're going to introduce a bit of bait, I think. So we'll see what happens in this first 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes, and uh, we'll go from there. Steady, steady away. Don't do anything too crazy. That's the plan. So we'll see what happens. 
Uh, just had a good chat with Titsy, my mate down there, and uh, Dave Smith. We've had a good uh, chin wag. Um, yeah, good laugh. So, anyway, I think the brother's back from the shop. He's brought, he's going to get some snap and some uh, pop and what have you. We couldn't find out on way down. So, first minute, we'll see what happens, and hopefully, I'll uh, come back to you when we start catching a few. And uh, I'll keep my eye on a few people and see what happens, see what they do as well. So, see you in a bit. Here we go, two minutes later. <coughs> Small thing. Uh, nice start, isn't it? See the old rod go down. Go, little skimmer. Now it's getting early bite. Hopefully. Carry on catching them now. And the bigger ones turn up. There we go, in again. Bigger one. Big nodder. That long, did it? Look at that side of it. Alright. just turned up with a snap now. Under that size, can't complain. Hey. Oh, when you're taking it off.
just had a massive downpour. Proper big black cloud come over and just wet us all through. <clears throat> but doing all right. Catching a few on this. You get an odd skimmer. I've had a left one and four or five skimmer. And this thing is all right. White ears. Speed is getting odd feel, I think, and uh, people are catching, but no massive coming out yet. Yet, but hopefully now we'll get a few. It's still a bit dries up a bit now because it's proper wet round here. But still getting odd bite and odd, an odd indication, but no carp has yet. past 12 so we'll uh, keep carrying on this and uh, hopefully the sun will come out and dries up a bit because it's uh, all my tackles wet now great isn't it but uh, can't say too much because uh, closely pegged on here but uh, just carrying on this keep catching a few and then if this dies I'll probably <clears throat> end up moving out a little bit Let's go. there you are another skimmer look small one this time Same really. Keep it going in. Okay. Odd skimmer now. It's quite enough a little bit, but speed is just at a car about eight pound, I think. So. Yeah, so um, just keep it going in. 
hopefully we can keep catching these skimmers but it has died off a little bit I was getting one chuck um, earlier on and then it died off um, and then I just kept swapping baits and trying mag it and, and pellet and what have you that blooming wind's getting up and up so it's um, yeah the only person that's got a carp is Speedy at the minute I've got a little F1 which I thought hey oh, this is a carp and it turned out to be an F1 but plenty of skimmers them big skimmers and all are nice what you when you can catch them um, I don't know what has been caught further down the lad next door's had a few and the lad further up's had a few but uh, it's me and Speedy at the minute but bloody hell that wind is uh, getting up we've had a downpour and everything so it's pretty cold today but uh, just keep going keep putting it in there and hopefully feed this edge up and uh, hopefully we'll get a few fish off that edge as well so carry on and uh, yeah fingers crossed Training, but we've got a lovely lovely rainbow there the sun's coming out but it's still still wet on the wind there
Well, the sun's out now. We've had rain, sleet and snow. Well, we haven't had the snow, but... After that car, I've just had a couple more skimmers. Another skimmer. Very white, isn't it? Speedy's had two more carp, I think. Um, so it'll be a close affair. But uh, keep going. Going yet? Last hour. Hopefully, some fish will have moved on a bit closer in. So I'm going to have another 10 minutes on this I think um, and then hopefully this last hour, hour and 10 minutes will start catching short. I'll put a little bit of bait into my right um, and I'm just going to alternate it just out in front and just, on, just down to my right but yeah I put a little bit of snap out about 25 metres and I've just had a quick chuck on it, had a carp, had a bream, had another skimmer. Um, but you're waiting on bites a little bit more, so I'm not going to give it too much longer. And then hopefully we'll get on this short line and uh, see if we can catch another couple more carp. So hopefully the sun, sun stays out, but it do not look like it. Looks like it's going to rain again. So we've got it while it lasts and then, uh, yeah, keep going. Two a minute. Right, it's two minutes from the off, uh, from the end. Speedy's got another car, it looks like. We've got another skimmer on this. Seen them up ugly there, to be honest, actually new skimmer. But I think we'll have enough to be speedy. So that's it, it's literally like two minutes now, so we'll see if we get another one, hopefully it'll be a big dirty carp, but I uh, don't think we've got enough to beat Speedy in the section, don't know what's been caught down there, not too much I don't think, um, but uh, that's it, we'll see you at the way in, oh it's gone, skimmer to end me on it.
second. Third, sorry, third. <laughs> Dave Wood with 101 pounds. Well done, Dave. Cheers, Matt. Well done, Dave. Thanks, Phil. Thanks, Matt. Cheers, Matt. Well done, man. And the weather today after Spassy Lake with 181 3 speed in! Well done, Welcome back, Dave. Thank you. Right, match play. That is the end of the practice match. Um, I would have liked to um, have done the uh, outro of the video down there, but by the time we got back to the hotel, um, and had a nice relaxing meal uh, with my brother and Tommy Pickering. It were really time to go to bed and get your stuff ready for the next day. So it were all a bit. Um, it was all a bit. Let's get going and and get it get going again, basically for the next day. So I thought I'd just have a quick chat with you. Uh, in the new van, I've got a new van, everybody. I've got a Citroen Bilingo XL cab crew, which. Um, it is a van, brand new, and um, yeah, I can move the seats back and turn it into a van and everything like that, but fantastic. Uh, love it to pieces. So I'm sure you'll see in the new videos uh, regarding the van and everything like that. I'll probably give you a tour of it when I get out fishing in it and everything like that. It's only just come today, but back down to Larford. I wanted to do the video at the end, but we just didn't have time and, and, and we're ready for the next day. But as you saw at the presentation, I ended up coming third on the lake. Now, it was split into two separate matches, one on Match Lake and one on uh, Specy Lake. And as you saw, the winner of our lake was Nick Speed. He had £180 on peg 18, which was in the corner. I was on peg 20 and I ended up coming third with £101. Um, 70 pound of skimmers uh, and four carp I had and everyone was like bloody hell I can't believe you caught 70 pound of skimmers but I had a really lovely day even though the weather was ridiculous it was windy, rainy, sleeting uh, then it was sunny then we had a lovely rainbow it, it, the weather was just ridiculous but it didn't uh, alter the fishing the fishing was absolutely fantastic in that area um, across the other side they struggled a little bit and in the corner to the right of me they struggled a little bit as well but the area that we were in on that Burbank on that far bank sorry of Specy Lake in those pegs we did it, it was absolutely fantastic fishing and I love it when it's windy like that um, and you, you always know that the fish are going to be feeding um, when there's the undertow and everything like that I just, just it's great for feeder fishing when it's windy I love it um, so yeah, third in the match, I underarmed a feeder at 8 metres um, and I started there and I started catching big skimmers and I was getting lovely skimmers up to 2 to 3 pounds um, and I stayed there pretty much all day. I did feed a line um, about 20 metres out. I put a couple of ground bait feeders out to that with pellets and a bit of ground bait and what have you. But that didn't kick off. I had a quick chuck on it while I had, while I had a bit of a break off that line and had a quick uh, drink and a chocolate bar and what have you. And I did have a quick chuck on that and, and I ended up having a carp and a skimmer on that long line. So it did it did um, fare well for me to put a little bit of snap further out and fish it for 10 or 15 minutes while the other one just settled. So it's always good to have somewhere to go um, and just give that line, your, your main line, a little bit of a settle before you go on that line. I didn't catch anything down the edge. I did put an edge uh, line up. Or did I catch anything down the edge? Maybe I had a one, one bite. No, I can't remember really any anything coming down from the edge. But I did put a line to me right down the edge. And I filled it with ground bait and micros and what have you. But it didn't really kick off that. So I just stayed on that eight, uh, eight to nine meter line. Just under arming it on a method feeder and catching pretty much most of the day. And I had a fantastic day. And to have 70 pounder skimmers, I were over the moon. And then when it come to the uh, pick up, uh, I think I picked up about 150 quid for third. Um, and like I said, there were winners from uh, Nick Speed won the match. So a fantastic start to the practice match. And it was, I think there were about 60, 
67 or 68 on the practice match on the on the Friday so it put me in great steads for the weekend loads and loads of confidence going into the uh, goldenrod final um over the next two days the saturday and the sunday so that's it for this video this is the this is the practice match before the main main event on the friday and saturday on the saturday and sunday sorry and to come away with a third is absolutely fantastic so hope you enjoyed this video and um don't forget to check out the next couple of videos which will be the main event on on the saturday and sunday which is a golden rod feeder championship so um thank you for watching this video i hope you've uh, enjoyed it click the link down below subscribe up to the videos massive thank you to all the members out there who have joined the video recently so if you want to become a member you uh, all you do is click the join button and then you get all the members only videos behind the scenes footage there's loads and loads of videos on there what you can go through um also we've got another ch another channel called bag up tv raw where all the raw footage i set a camera up behind me and that just plays all the way through the match and i upload the raw footage on that when i'm catching fish and stuff like that there isn't very really much talking but it's nice just to set a camera up and and look and see and you can have a look for yourself but if you do want to like raw footage of the match go ahead on to bag up tv raw just hit the subscribe button and you get to watch all those videos for free so that's it guys uh much appreciated hope you enjoyed this one hats hoodies t-shirts all available if you want to email me at baguptv at gmail.com i'll tell you how, how to order the hats the hoodies the t-shirts joggers stickers anything on there um and i'll let you know how much they are and everything like that so that's it massive thanks for watching this video fingers crossed for the final which will be tomorrow um and yeah really looking forward to it going into into the final with a lot of confidence so let's fingers crossed for a flyer wish me luck keep on bagging tuning on the video if you want to see more videos hit this awesome playlist down here make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you want to become a member hit the join button thanks for watching the video guys we'll see you soon keep on bagging